Hey guys, we again have coder byte, another challenge. In this case, just yeah, let's go uh, simple, uh, easy, difficult. Uh, first factorial uh, out there again, 10 points for first uh, challenge will be determining uh, the factorial of a given number. Let's start. So, again, we will be doing JavaScript. Again, if you uh, would like to see any implementation in any other languages, just let me know in comments. Uh, again, disclaimer I know that uh, uh, the dark theme rules just for sake of video uh, and the easy read, so we'll be recording, we'll be recording this in white one or light as I say saying. Okay, let's roll. Uh, first factorial uh, have the function first factorial num, uh, take the num parameter uh, being passed and re return the factorial uh, in it. For example, if num uh, equal 4, then program should return 4 multiply by uh, basically this formula of factorial. Uh, for for, uh, for uh, test cases the range will be between 1 and 18 and input will be integer interesting so technically <laughs> you can crack it and figure out like if statements and reduce and pass it your unit testing but just joking but again so they give us a clue what's uh, coming so it means uh, so we have a few examples again the same four eight it's multiplication it's more than 40k again uh, 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 in this case you can ignore again if you're not familiar with this again I keep repeating every time again you usually do the code the changes within the function this is kind of the final uh, console you also uh, uh, can do also logs uh, statements within the code if you want to so again clean let's run it it says 8 so because we send it etc so let's figure out what we can do here all right so first of all we do verification here again we will be killing this again you might think of uh, uh, like this you start from the scratch in this case so we will do verification first of all let me make it smaller so we can see it so basis on factorial 0 and 1 so if it is just return uh, 0 so in this case uh, yeah return we will return 1 factorial of 1 is 1 so yeah just uh, so we handle this case and here's uh, uh, we will do recursive case so and again we handle just simple case just uh, non happy pass and here's we will go another if else here so we will do recursive case we will say hey num multiply but the same minus one so it will go re recursively and again it will stop by default you might think oh where there is no loop or any anything again this statement will stop the party so eventually let's say we got three three two one if one it will return one so we'll be good uh, and uh, but again number will be multiplied uh, higher so we we good here so let's let's fire up and see what's happening let's run the code we got 40 so it looks like what we needed which is good let's run the tests correct 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 up to eight and four so i guess we know that let's just for fun let's do three again you can do your own oops yes. no uh means i wanted to run code hold on let's clean up run code eight six so two multiply three yeah we got six so it sounds like we should be good to go here. So yeah, let's submit and see what's happening. And we'll confirm submission. So they will run additional uh, unit tests. As I said, it will be up to 18. Whatever doing behind the scene. Complete, complete. And let's submitting hip. So here we go. We got 10 points uh, for implementation. Again, it looks like majority also individuals completed this within 10 minutes so again uh, here's our uh, code out there again it was in javascript so you can pause it but also i would encourage you yeah check it out if you want to kind of copy paste for for ease of, of uh, replication the source code uh yeah below the video so 
Yeah, and again, just let me know if you have any questions or you want to see any languages out there. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.